Hi all. In second part, we learnt about store and remove operation of object store. Store operation we will use to store any key value pair inside object store and retrieve operation we will use to retrieve value from object store using key value sorry using key okay now we will learn retrieve all retrieve all key remove contains so we will learn about different different operation so we'll start with retrieve all okay so first i will drag and drop this and i will use http listener to expose my api as a rest api now here in path i will use object store retrieve all okay so fine now this one is done in retrieve all we need to select only object store it don't need any key and all so what it will do it will retrieve all key value pair okay so for that let me deploy it okay so i have already one two key value pair already created okay so i will create one more three and three okay now we have three key value pair let it deploy yeah i think deployment done so what i will do I will call this listener to retrieve all the key value pair. So host and port is fine. This path I will copy. So what I will do, I will create a duplicate of this. Okay, I don't need any key. I will just call that listener and this listener. Okay, so you can see here we are getting this key value pair but what i will do i will convert in json payload first so what i will do i will use this set payload okay inside set payload i will write database syntax to convert in json format okay let me save it now okay let me see if deployment is completed or not okay meanwhile i will create more key value pair actually my previous key value pair expired so i will create key k1 and k2 also so if you follow my first second video then you will able to understand what we are doing here so we are creating key value pair okay now let me see if deployment yes deployment done okay still we are getting in text format so what i will do i will go here okay application json fine are we doing any mistake here this one is fine everything is fine let me try once again okay deployment done so i will check yeah i am getting correct key value pair okay so here here you can see k1 and value is kumar1 k2 value is kumar3 k3 value is kumar3 i will create one more key value pair Okay, let me send it. Key value pair successfully created. I will call again that particular operation. So it will return all the key value pair. Okay. So 
this retrieval will return all the key value pair from object stored now we will see retrieve all keys okay so it will return only key in retrieval we are getting key value both but here we will get only key okay so i will use http listener again to expose my api as a rest api and path i will use object retrieve all key I'll copy this okay i will create postman also in path i will use okay now here again what i will do i will retrieve all key and i will use set payload to convert in json format okay so let me save it and deployment will start automatically so when i will call this api this listener then this retrieve all key operation will retrieve all the existing key will convert in json format and will return okay so let me call this so currently we are getting null okay so maybe all key got expired so what i will do i will create one key okay i am getting null okay since we haven't selected any object store okay so we selected this object store now we will get key value from key value from this sorry we will get key from this object store okay previously we are getting from default okay, let me check deployment completed or not yes completed so now we will get all the key from that object store since we are create, we are creating this all key in particular object store what i have selected now i am calling that object store to get all the keys so we are getting all the key here okay if you see here we we will get all the key value pair okay till this point we are done with core operation store retrieve retrieve all and retrieve all key now we will learn these two also contains and remove okay so first we will learn this content so for that before i i will create a http listener and path i will use object store content and what i will do i will create one postman this postman i need to pass key also so i will create duplicate of this So what this operation, sorry, that operation, this contains. So what this operation will do, this operation will check that particular key exists or not. If it will exist, then it will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. Okay. So here I need to pass key. So what I will do, I will take this syntax. Actually, I will now i will not take create variable i will directly pass this key so in query parameter <coughs> we'll pass this key okay and we'll select this object store okay let me save it so this contain operation will check this key exists or not whatever key we will pass inside query parameter if that exists then it will return true otherwise it will return false okay so we are passing k1 okay let me check deployment completed or not this deployment done so k1 okay again we are getting in text format so what i will do i will use set payload and again i will convert that in json format okay and now let me see deployment done okay deployment started okay deployment done so i will call this so we are getting true since this k1 exists 
till k1 to k4 exists i will pass k5 okay so k5 doesn't exist so it, we are getting false if i will pass k3 k3 exists so i will get true okay so in this way you can see this contain operation will check that key exists or not now we will learn the work this remove okay so using this remove we can remove any key value pair okay so again i need http listener to expose my api as a rest api and path i will use ob rem okay so i need to create postman also so i will create duplicate of this and i will change this base path okay fine and then i will go here i will select okay again i need to pass key so i will get key from query parameter and i will select object store okay so this remove operation let me save it first this remove operation will check this key if this uh, will check this key if this key exists then it will remove that key value pair okay so deployment done so this one we are calling remove one and we are passing k3 okay so you, you are, we are getting 200 means successfully removed so what i will do i will check inside this retrieve all key so we are getting k1 k2 k4 we are not getting k3 in key value pair also we will get k1 k2 k4 now if i will remove k2 again we are getting 200 means that key already deleted okay means we deleted this key using this uh, remove operation again i will check that key that exists or not so you can see that key deleted we can check key value pair also that key value pair also deleted so in this way we learned lots of operation like uh, store to store key value pair then contains to check that key exists or not then remove whatever key value pair we have we can remove any key value pair retrieve it will retrieve key value pair whatever key we will pass it it will retrieve that value retrieve all it will retrieve all key value pair we need not require to pass any key in this case but in retrieve case we need to pass key we will get related value only and retrieve all key it will return all the key exist inside that object store okay so in this way we have seen all the operation of object store okay thanks